grateful to have been asked to give this speech. Uh, I'm actually in Suffolk today, and this is the launch of the Village Halls Week 2021. The Village Halls Week is the fourth such annual event, and I'm pleased to have been involved in all of them. How we have celebrated is differed each time. I remember visiting four village halls in Buckinghamshire in 2018. I presented a check from the Village Hall Improvement Grant Scheme to Wesselton Village Hall in Suffolk in 2019. And last year, I hosted a celebration event at the House of Lords. This year is very different due to, as we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm very impressed, however, by the range of different and innovative events that have been organized to mark Village Halls Week. Celebrating Village Halls in our rural communities is just as important this year, indeed, if not more so. I'm all too aware of the challenges that those running Village Halls have faced over recent times. Many Village Halls have continued to provide essential service to their communities, during lockdown periods. Some have been storing supplies for local shops and providing a distribution point for deliveries and supporting the NHS with meeting space and a place to deliver training. Others providing childcare facilities for key workers' children. I understand that Coddenham Community Centre in Suffolk was one of the founding members of the Coddenham Community Response Group. This was established during COVID to collaborate in helping and supporting the parish, particularly those most vulnerable and isolated. I'm particularly pleased to note some village halls are now helping out with the government's COVID vaccination program, which is vitally important in getting this service into rural communities and getting the country back on its feet. I'm under no illusion as to the amount of effort and coordination, both with other bodies and within your communities, that this will have taken. In normal years, village halls provide a hub for social, cultural and economic opportunities, a place for a range of social activities, classes and community events. Some host a post office, coffee shop, library, cinema, even a farmer's market in some places. I hope that we will see village halls soon be able to resume their full role at the very heart of rural community life. Last year, we celebrated the important milestone of 100 years since the start of the village halls advice service. The services have been of huge value to village halls this year. In some areas such as Leicestershire and Rutland, the Rural Community Council has had to expand its advisory service and bring in additional staff resource to manage demand related to the pandemic restrictions. Many queries were about the closing and reopening of halls, others about how to access financial support. There have been many newsletters circulated and virtual events held around the country, disseminating guidance documents and advice. I would like to thank the volunteers around the country who have given their time and expertise throughout this pandemic to help with the managing and running of their village hall for all those living and working in rural areas. Whether open or closed this year, there have been difficult decisions to be made by the communities and without their contribution, village life would suffer whether it by be by hosting essential services like a post office and a doctor's surgery, or simply creating social space for communities. There are many reasons to celebrate our village halls, but none would be possible without the tireless work of those who run them. And I really want to recognize that as strongly as I can express, particularly this year. I would like to thank Community Action Suffolk for organizing this event for hall committees across the East of England. I would like to wish success, of course, to all other virtual events, which I know are being held across the country, and to thank again all those involved for the role they play in the communities they serve. So it's going to be a busy week, I know, 
I'm supremely confident it will be a successful one. And let us hope that as the months proceed, that village halls will again resume their vital place in the role of rural and community life. And I wish you all well in these particularly challenging times. Thank you.